morning and welcome back to another vlog it is currently a sunday morning i've had a very very chilled morning laying in bed i was so tired last night that i set my alarm for seven god knows why because i didn't even need to get up then when i woke up to that alarm then i turned it off woke up to a half eight alarm turned it off and then went back to bed and then i woke up set a new video live and for the past hour i've been sat talking to you guys in the comments and replying to you guys on instagram and basically just talking to all of you as i love doing that on a sunday morning so i tweeted out because today i'm just gonna have like a lazy day and i'm basically just gonna do what i want to do and not really worry about the things that i have to do so just do things that i want to do i don't really have time to do it but i know that it's so important for my own self and for my own self-care and happiness that i have these type of days that i can just relax and kind of put my mind off of everything because you need that so today i'm going to be having a lazy day and i tweeted out whether you guys would want to see me vlog it and see me just do a lazy day routine like it's probably going to be things that you've seen me do before but it will just be nice to show you what i do on a lazy day i don't do this every single sunday i'm just doing this today because i know i need to like i just want to do it today so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna take you guys along with me there is still quite a lot of snow outside so i think my lazy day is gonna be inside unless i can persuade mum to drive to tesco so i can go and get a Krispy cream donut because i want one so bad i've been craving one for the past few days and the craving is just not leaving the first thing i like to do when i'm trying to have kind of like a lazy day but also slash like a productive day is tidy my room now my room's a little bit messy right now just because last night i was laying in bed doing work and stuff so i've got a load of rubbish and basically things i need to take downstairs so that's what i'm going to spend the next five ten minutes doing It's finally time to do a quote on my board. So I've just been Googling like quotes about like my dreams and stuff on Google and I've got this one. It says, ask yourself if what you're doing today is getting you closer to where you want to be tomorrow. And that's so, so true because I have massive, massive dreams that I want to pursue in my life. So looking at this every day might give me a bit of motivation. I'm not even joking with you. That fully took me about 20 minutes. Like it takes so long to change it, but that looks so cool. And I actually managed to get that pretty central considering that was my first go at it so plus you get loads of letters so if you i got this from home bargains i took i spoke about it in a few vlogs ago but yeah i really really like that so i'm gonna put that up and then in a little while i'm gonna get a bath and start to pamper myself i am now gonna start to get in the bath so i'm gonna try this out which is the l'oreal smooth sugars nourish scrub this is like a chocolate smelling one you know what i mean sorry my words are not good today i'm also gonna use this which amber got for me this is the face and body soothing balm from garnier i'm going to use that i'm going to use the hand cream when i get out of the bath what else am i going to use in here i might use this to put my hair back when i'm doing my face masks and stuff but i think that's everything out of that drawer and then in this drawer i'm also going to use this which amber got me amber always gets me garnier stuff i actually love it and this is the botanical balm which i'm going to use i also want to use a hair mask so we might go with the yeah we'll go with the john frieda sheer blonde one as you can see we're going in with all the products today i think i'm also going to use some of these so there's a pore strip for my nose then i need one for my forehead do i have any more for my forehead yes i do which means i'm going to use that one i've actually managed to misplace this and i don't know where on earth i've put it because it's not in the box and it's nowhere in this drawer because i thought it was this but this is my gravity mud from glam glow so i have absolutely no idea where it is and i'm low-key really annoyed because i really really i really loved it like really loved it so they're the products that we're going to use today i've also got some more in the bathroom which i'm going to use but these are the majority of them I'm gonna use a bath bomb from Bubble Tea. You wanna watch it? I've got this one. I'm gonna use this one. This one is mine. Yeah, I know. You can use that one. Yeah. Look, it's it's a it's a it's a. I think this is a bun because look. It's a macaroon atticus. It's a bun. Look at it. Ready? Have a bit of water on it. 
If it don't melt, you if it don't um, you put a bit of water in. Yeah, exactly. Look, that one's fizzing. Yeah, that one is. This is a slow fizzing one, Atticus. So it takes a while to fizz. And look, there's a bit of bit of it. Look, look, there's a bit of. Let's call this a bun. This is a <laughs> This is a bit of bun and this is a bit of bun. Basically, I've put all my products around the side of the bath and I'm now just going to get in. I'm going to bring my laptop in here. I'm going to watch a movie and I'm going to pamper myself. I've also got my T-Zone scrub and my face wash. I've got my Imperial Leather shower gel. I've got some bubble tea shower gel. What did you just say, Atticus? Rules are what? Rules are rules, Anna. Rules I are rules, aren't they, Atticus? Anna. So you need to start listening to the rules. Anna. What? Uh, do you like a bit of this in your bath? I'm out of the bath. I have got my hair in a turban because I washed my hair and I put like a treatment on it. So fingers crossed it won't look as yellow because I'm going to go to the hairdressers in like two weeks. I'm going to get a toner put on it because it's going quite yellow now and I need it to be more like whitish if you get me. Um, I've also got these on and they've dried so hard. So I'm going to peel them off and it's going to hurt so, so bad. They're off my face, but I just wanted to give a quick like warning. Like if you don't want to watch the next clip because I'm going to show you how much stuff it pulled out of my skin, then just skip. So the black one on my nose is obviously loads better, but it still didn't really pull out that much. Although to be fair, I did use some of these a few days ago, so I don't think I had that much. But that one there is massive what it pulled out. But other than that, it just got like tiny little ones out, not really that much. And on my chin, it literally got barely anything out. Like there's nothing on there. But these are normally really good. I think it's just because I used them a few days ago, so there wasn't really much to pull out. But that mighty one there glad that one's gone i've now come downstairs and i've got my dinner so for dinner tonight i've got garlic bread which is over there and then i've got lasagna and chips i'm so excited to eat this because i fell asleep for like three hours and i've woken up so hungry so to basically explain to you guys what happened i was obviously so so tired and i needed to catch up on my sleep and i actually ended up falling asleep from maybe like two until like half four and then i laid in bed until five had dinner which you just saw and now i've got up again i was obviously just so tired and i needed my sleep and at the end of the day if i needed my sleep i needed my sleep so that was what i've done on my lazy day so far this vlog isn't that interesting but you guys still said you wanted me to film it so that's what i'm doing so now i'm just going to do a bit of skincare because in the bath i use the l'oreal scrub which is so good that was the first time that i'd used that chocolate one because i'd used the other two ones that they sent me which was like another chocolatey type one and then there was also a like green it looked a bit like a kiwi scrub but i used the chocolate one it was really good my skin feels really smooth um before i used that i used the t-zone face wash which again is amazing i really like that face wash it's brought me out in like a few red spots but i think that's it's bringing the impurities out of my skin then i use the scrub after i use the face mask and again my skin feels amazing so now i'm going to use the mario badescu drying lotion and as you can see like, i'm just looking in the mirror i've got like one spot that's coming here and then i just pop it around the edges of my nose to make them look less red and then i'm going to be using my tart moisturizer because i really like that and i also really like this which is the garnier botanical balm soothing moisturizer amber got me this for my birthday was it birthday or Christmas? I'm pretty sure it was birthday and I love it so much. It's from their rose water range and it's really, really good. And you can use it as day care, night care or a face mask. But I just put a little bit on as moisturiser. So that's what I'm going to do now. I feel like my skin is getting a lot better because it goes through like patches. Where obviously in a few vlogs ago I showed you guys what it looked like beforehand. And then it got better and now I'm coming out with a few spots again. But I feel like it's just the impurities being like coming out my skin you know fully made my own little tripod so i'm sorry if this is so so bad my camera is also flashing red but basically you get the lotion and then you just get a cotton bud and then you just have to dip it right in so it comes out with some of the pink stuff oh that wasn't even enough and then just pop it on your spot when i initially put it on it stings so bad because i feel like it going into my skin so that's basically where i put it so now i'm going to look a bit stupid for the next few clips because it's just going to stir my nose like this until it dries the mario badescu stuff has like dried around my face now please excuse my hair i know it looks sick and then when it's dried i am going to use this which i literally love so if you guys haven't tried this it is quite pricey for what it is it's about eight pounds but it's so good it is quite a bit 
bit later now i feel like i say that in every single clip but i am just watching this netflix documentary called girls incarcerated and i'm on chapter three and it's called mean girls and there's six different episodes in this like season one and basically it's following different girls around who are in prison in america and it's such an eye-opening documentary and i would recommend it so much me and steph are both watching it and we're both just messaging each other about it like having proper deep conversations about it because it's such a good show and like this isn't sponsored at all i'm just saying like it's a genuinely good show and if you do want to go and watch it, i would definitely recommend it it's on netflix and i'm on episode three like i said and i'm gonna stay up and i'm gonna see if i can finish all the episodes because i'm enjoying it that much i haven't really done much today as you can tell and that is basically my lazy day routine what i will do on a really chill day i didn't plan to have the nap funnily enough i kind of didn't really want to have that but my body obviously needed it and now i'm not really as tired which is a bad thing because i know i've got to get up super early tomorrow so basically the plan for next week just so you guys know what type of vlogs are coming is on monday which is tomorrow i am going to be filming a video i'm going to hopefully in the morning pop to primark because i want to get a coat oh well like a new coat because i want like a long line one and then i'm just going to be doing a few worky bits and then on tuesday well we're like 90 percent sure it's tuesday i'm on a shoot in the morning for something quite exciting and then i'm traveling down to saf's on tuesday evening she's got a meeting in london so i'm traveling back with her and then on Wednesday, on Thursday, and then like half a Friday, I'm down SAS. We've got some really good things planned. We're meeting up with some lovely girls on Wednesday, but going out with her friends on Thursday. So basically, you guys have got some really good vlogs coming. And then obviously, it's Mother's Day on Sunday, and I've got a driving lesson on a Saturday morning. So that is the plan. That's basically what I'm doing next week. So, oh my god, I also have oh notification i also have the biggest pile of washing to pack away let me show you it's just chilling on the end of my bed like i need to pack it away and i'm like i know i'd love myself so much more in the morning if i did it now so you know what i'm just gonna give in and i'm gonna do it 